boys and girls, and welcome to the first day of spring. Mrs. Rose, Mrs. Harvey, and myself have gotten together and set up our own teddy bear picnics in our homes because we know that you're disappointed that we won't be having our picnic in school today. Please know that our bears are safe in their caves and we will have our picnic upon our return to school. In the meantime, we've also put together a few activities and lessons to share with you. Later today, you will see me read the story, Hide and Seek, which is a fun game that anyone can play inside any day of the year. Mrs. Rose would like to say hello and introduce the treat that she will teach you about. Girls, I hope you're having a great first day of spring. Uh, I'm having fun on my teddy bear picnic at home with Olaf and Clifford, and I hope you can do the same in your own home. I did make a little snack for us um, for our picnic, some teddy bear toast that I'll be sharing with you how to make. Uh, but in the meantime, make sure you're eating lots of fruits and vegetables as well. And um, we miss you so much, and we'll see you guys again soon. Here's Mrs. Harvey. Hi friends, happy spring. We miss you very much. We're looking forward to seeing you soon. As Mrs. Rose and Miss Ames said, we put our teddy bear picnic together in our homes with our own snuggly friends. You can see my friends have a nice colorful plate in front of them, some healthy snacks, which Nurse Lara would be super proud of. Uh, later, I'm going to be showing you how to use shapes, which we've been working on in the classroom, and we can create our very own teddy bear using shapes and we'll do that later on this afternoon we just wanted to touch base and say hello tell you how much we miss you and wish you a very happy first day of spring see you later guys hi boys and girls i'm so excited to make something delicious today for our teddy bear picnic um, i thought it'd be something fun that you could make to go along with our teddy bear so I made, you can kind of see it, um, some teddy bear toast and I spread peanut butter on this slice and I used bananas and blueberries and his eyes and his nose. And I'm going to show you how to make another piece um, using apple butter instead just in case you can't have peanuts. So um, you can ask for help for getting a knife and spreading, but you're going to use some apple butter. Get a nice little scoop on your bread. I also wanted to use um, almond butter, that's fine too, or sunflower butter, um, or even just jelly, strawberry jelly would be yummy too. Something like that for a nice quick snack. Alright, I've got my spread. Now, I'm going to use my bananas for his ears. Washing hands a lot. Um, we go here. Wash his eyes. And then you might want to dab a little bit more um, whatever spread you're using on the middle of the banana for his nose. And then go ahead and one more blueberry for his nose. Pretty simple and pretty cute. I hope you all are having a great day. cleaned up from our teddy bear picnic, I'd like to take this time to share a story with you. It's called Hide and Seek by Brenda Shannon Yee, illustrated by Debbie Tilly. Remember, the illustrator is the person who draws the pictures. I hide, you seek. I call, don't peek. One, two, tiptoe shoe. Three, four, creep to the door. Five, six, old door sticks. Seven, eight, spy crate. Nine, ten, 
Quick, dive in. Ready or not, here I come. I hear creak, creak. Just once, I peek. You leap. I shriek. Let's play again. You hide, I seek. Remember, while we're at home, we need to find some fun things to do even when we're stuck inside. Playing a good game of hide and seek is loads of fun. I hope you enjoy. See you later. Hi friends, I hope you enjoyed seeing how we celebrated the teddy bear picnic at home with our teddy bears. I wanted to continue celebrating our teddy bears by drawing a teddy bear of my own and showing you how you can use just basic shapes and letters to draw one of your own as well at home. And what I'm gonna start out with is an oval for my teddy bear's head. And then, see that nice round oval? Then I'm gonna take a U shape, almost like the uppercase letter U that we learned a long time ago. So that looks like a nice uppercase U. Then we're gonna add on some oval arms. And another one over here. And then we're gonna make that letter U again, but we're gonna do it down here for our bear's legs. Long and skinny U on this side, and a long and skinny U on this side. Looks pretty good so far. Let's add some details. We can add a circle down here to make it look like his little foot. Two little circles. And then we're gonna add some more circles up here because you know our teddy bear needs some ears. And then if we add another circle in the middle, that'll be his little teddy bear snout. Looks pretty good. Let's add some more details. We're gonna add two little circles for eyes. And then I'm gonna use almost an upside down triangle shape for his nose. So we're gonna come down here, almost like letter V. And then I'm gonna curve over the top to close that in to look like an upside down triangle. And then I'm gonna make a monkey tail to the left and a monkey tail down to the right. And now that looks like a really handsome bear. Very, very nice. Now what I can do with this bear then is I can color it with markers or paints or uh, colored pencils. I can cut my bear out uh, to bring him more to life. And then I think something really fun to do with the bear is maybe, just maybe, we could write some uh, sentences about our bear. I've got a nonfiction sentence here for you right now that says, the bear is brown and big. Notice how I've got my spaces between my words. I've got punctuation at the end. I used a period there to finish up my sentence. That tells my brain to stop and take a little breath. Or I could get really fancy and creative and I could write a fiction sentence about my bear. My bear likes to play hide and seek. Again, you see my spaces. I've got that punctuation at the end of this sentence as well. And you'll notice there's a lot of sight words in this sentence, which I could underline. I could put a little star over top. Um, so that's a fun way that you can extend celebrating our first day of spring with our bears. I know you're excited to see them. They'll be waiting for you when you get back to school. I hope you enjoy it. Please send pictures or videos of you doing this project if you decide to do this at home today. See you guys.